if you've come so far. Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. We have a haul today. <laughs> I also just want to say sorry for my Sephora haul. I was feeling very guilty about the money I had spent, but thank you for your lovely comments. I will no longer feel guilty. And let's show you where I've been. The Mac. I've been to Inglot. What do people say Inglo? I don't know. Inglot sounds better. I've been to Sephora. And I have also been to Mecca. This is an old bag. I didn't get a new bag when I went there this time. So, taking you to the first piece of my haul. The new Too Faced Peach Lip Scrub. I've already tried this out. Uh, I'm not really into the taste of peach, I think. And it's... It's just, it's cute. Uh, it's a really nice moisturizing lip balm with a little bit of exfoliation. And it, it tastes quite good. I like it. And it does its job. Oh, I also bought this from Mecca. So Bare Minerals have come out with their precious metals range. Can you see it? There we are. Bare Minerals have come out with the precious metals. And being me, I couldn't, uh, the other two shades are really, are really nice and I probably should have chosen them, but I chose Cryptic Copper. This goes for $24 Australian in a shitty looking tube. Feels cheap. But, and I haven't tried it on my eyes yet. I will soon. And this is the shade that I've chosen, which is, it's nice. I'm, I'm happy with it. I like it. I like at the moment cream shadows on my kryptonite. I just, I can't like, if someone releases a cream shadow, I must try it. What a problem. And on that note, when I went to Sephora, do you need to see the bag too, I'm not sure. Tart Chrome Prop was in stock. So I've actually been waiting for this for a while. When the sale was on, I came across it. I swatched it. I fell in love. The lovely girl tried to get it, find it for me. But she couldn't. It just wasn't possible. And to reveal the shade, it is Froze Chrome Paint. And let's just do a lovely little swatchy swatch. This is a pink duo chrome. And it, look at that. Pink gold duo chrome. I can't wait to wear this. But I'm realizing how people struggle to keep up with reviews and stuff. Cause like, you're gonna put so much makeup on your face. Like how, like, all hail Temptalia. Let's do Mac. So this is an Aussie and an US haul today. We'll come out. I'm just gonna pull everything out. Oh, I forgot I bought this. I went to the art store today and they had glow in the dark face paint. I was wondering if this is eye safe. It was only six bucks, so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna try this shit. But I think I wanna buy a UV light just to make it easier. Oh, that smells terrible. But I thought it might be fun. So let's start with the products from the US. So, my FabFitFun haul, I think I'll put that up first. So, I think it will probably be the last time I order from US for a while. So, this is a product that you can only get when you're a Mac Select member. Which I think just means you've signed up for their email address. But, it is way cheaper than the Australian one. So, I've only spent $70 Australian on these products. And a bronze, like a... Let me just show So see this is the shade Superb and the Extra Dimension Blush. I'm sure it's a lot smaller than the one I can get here but I never go through them so I don't really care about how big or small the product is. But the Superb in the form I can get it here is like $50 Australian. So the, this seemed worth it and it was kind of like a fun memento of all the stuff that I bought from the US if it was going to be my last time. So this is Superb. This is this one here. 
and then that extra dimension blush what's it is that actually the shade selected so that's the blush here so just nice I mean it, it's just like an extra product I'm not too bothered I mostly wanted the highlighter in superb I also picked up this is one of my like favorite youtubers she is so lovely and this is Nima, Nima Tang's her collaboration with Mac and she made a lipstick did she name it it just has really cute packaging and I think it's just called Nima Tang but devastatingly it just comes in the shitty like in this but it's a really nice red let's put it down here I'm looking forward to wearing it and I just, while I had the chance, I thought I would support her. But I'm a bit disappointed because I honestly was expecting... Oh, I put it away. But the Patrick Star lipsticks, they come in like fancy packaging. But I'm guessing that's only for select people. So, the box is cute. And I do have a packaging problem, as you all know. So it will stay in the packaging for a while. But I was hopeful that it would look nice on the actual outside. Because one of the biggest things with... The MAC lipsticks is you, you can't tell what shade it is without looking at the bottom. And I went to MAC today because they were giving out, um, ugh, I signed up for free, like a 12 day sample of the Studio Fix foundation, but I just got two small samples of it. I couldn't really be bothered. It's funny. Anyway, so I picked up, oh, this isn't like a different packaging. It feels all soft to the touch. Um, Subliminal messaging works really well on me. I've not watched a single video on these, but this is the new Powder Kiss lipstick. I've just seen it on Instagram. <laughs> and this is actually the colour I'm wearing right now. And I picked up a little tamed. And, but this has been on for a while now. I'm kind of impressed. I'll do a proper wear test of it soon, but let's just top up. It's a really nice, soft feeling lipstick, and the, oh, like just go into a Mac store and feel this packaging. I love it. I want to play with it more. But I feel like this is quite long lasting. I, I like it. And I've also been to Inglot. So the girls were absolutely lovely, as always. One of my favourite girls was in Art of Rosie. I don't know if you secretly watched this. Anyway. She's helped me a lot with my other palettes. And I thought today, I've been wanting to make just a pure Inglot shadow. This means I now own three of the Flexies. Because <laughs> I need a big one. And these are the shadows I've selected. I'm going to put in, it needs four new friends but I'm just being slow in my collection growing and taking my time these are all fresh colors but what they asked was would you would you like us to put them in the palette and I was like please because I absolutely just hate undoing that Inglot packaging <laughs> so I that was a very nice feature of them to do and it was cute she even like made an effort to remember what order I'd put them on like their little display thing when I selected them so it was all very cute but this is the shade and I've just fell in love with this one 283 I think this is one of their new ones so 283 it's kind of got like an orangey brown feel to it to deepen that up and just to go with it I chose out 305 I just thought they'd be like a nice little friends in my palette. For just because I fell in love with the glimmer, 495 is this pink. That's very nice. And lucky last is 164. Oh, you can't see its beauty. I'm just going to build it up, but it is quite lovely. 
There we go. So these are the shades I picked up today. A bit of neutrals pop of colour. I'm going to add more colour to it, but I'm not sure what yet. I just really... I fell in love with that first coat. It's just got like a nice mustardy tone to it. And then I just wanted something to deepen it up, so that's why I've got that brown. And then I will figure out, I'm not sure what else I want to put out. So if you have any suggestions of the shades you're loving, that you feel would fit in here well, please leave them below and let me know. I would love to know. And I believe that's everything I bought. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this haul. <laughs> let me know what you're buying, what you're not buying, anything. Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate your time.